All right, right before the break, we heard Kelly Rutherford's emotional accounts of the international flight over her children. But where does the law stand on this complex custody battle? For that, we turn to former federal prosecutor and Fox News legal analyst Lise Wheel and criminal defense attorney Robert Bianchi. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Good to see you. Um, I recently covered a case. It's been within the last three or four years of the Supreme Court involving a U.S. parent, a foreign parent, and it was so complicated in this issue of habitual residence. Where does the kid right. really spend the most time? In this case, it would be different if the kids hadn't gone to Monaco and stayed there all this time. But then it becomes the place that is their habitual residence, Bob. Yeah, and this is going to be a problem. I mean, and the order that allowed the kids to come over here in the first place was from Monaco. Mm -hmm. And they've been there for years and they had their doctors there, their schooling School. and everything. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the issue that they're going to be dealing with on September 3rd. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out because there is a very complex jurisdictional issue yeah. here. Okay, but now that, that the aside, involved. I'm sorry to yes, get yeah. that involved, but yes, it's very complex. I get jurisdictional issues from California to New York to Monaco. But these kids are U.S. citizens, mm -hmm. all right? This parent, the father, the ex, the ex-husband, the only reason he got that that Monaco thing to begin with was because he didn't have his papers lined up, his visa work papers, mm -hmm. to be here. So Kelly, to her credit, really I think was trying as going into going to this divorce, trying to be amicable, knowing that these kids are going through enough already trying to make it less difficult for all around, so let it go to Monaco, assuming, of course, the kids would come back. They're U.S. kids, they're U.S. kids. And I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a mom of two kids myself, um, you know, been divorced, and looking at that, I cannot but put, put my parental hat on and say, that's just wrong on all sorts of different levels. Well, I feel kids aren't able to be here in the United States. This is their country. Well, there was a situation set up where he would provide for airfare, for travel. When she would go there, there would be a home she could use, cars that she could use. And, you know, some people, the reaction I hear from them is, why doesn't she take the dad up on all this stuff and simply move? To France. Yeah, well, that's, she doesn't have to do that. The she issue is here is that the courts have to make a decision as to where the jurisdiction is. And the problem is, is that possession is kind of nine tenths right. of the law. Especially with children. Yeah, and they allowed her to go, and she consented to go into Monaco. She's a beautiful person. She's a mother fighting for her child. I get this. But there's a confusion in California because they no mm -hmm. longer say that they have jurisdiction. The, kid is habit, the kids are habitually uh, residents now mm -hmm. of Monaco. And a Monaco court is going to be making a decision. And she has remedies in the United States. She should take an appeal and try to square but, away this jurisdiction. But, yeah, let's get back go? to the legal standard here, but just for a second. Yeah. Best interest of the child. That's always what it's going to be. So if these two kids want to be with his mother, and by the way, there's never been anything found against Kelly that she's been a bad mom or a neglectful him. mom or him. Or him. Either way. So you can't be pinning that kind of thing on. Isn't there some kind of middle ground? So get back in the, the, the law here. California has punted it. Mm -hmm. Now it's to New York. New York has now punted it to Monaco. Monaco is now taking jurisdiction, which it really shouldn't and can't because it is not the country where these kids have their actual I, I respectfully have to disagree with that respectfully for, for a couple of reasons. Both state courts have denied jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. The federal court will not get involved. The State Department won't get involved. Mm -hmm. All the themes are consistent here that this is not an issue for these courts here right now at this stage without an appeal to be handling. It's to be handled in Monaco first and then you can make a decision as to whether you want to appeal. But, but what Monaco you don't do, courts. but what you don't do is just keep the kids beyond the court order right. from Monaco. Right, I mean that's asking for trouble, but, right. but very quickly because we got to go, just one word answer. If you were going to appeal here in the U.S., would you appeal California or New York? New York. I would go to federal court because there's multiple jurisdictions. You got to okay. go start with New York, though they go to federal court. All right, good to see you at yeah. Eagles tonight. <laughs> yeah.